I thought they had momentum going in the locker room at halftime as to where you guys didn't. What did what did you say to your team at halftime? Um, in a nutshell. Just matter of fact that the reason we were behind in that game was because of us. We made uh, a lot of untimely penalties, you know, some foolish penalties. And if we would just come out and play within ourselves and focus and eliminate the penalties, we'll win this football game. So it wasn't a hoot, it wasn't a scream, holler, you know, just man to man and let's get it done, guys, because we're capable of much better. Was it sort of a relief to see everything just click in the second half? Compared to oh, the yeah. Half? You know, but I, at the end of that first half, though, I, I, I'd say I thought we gained some momentum at mm -hmm. the end of the first half. Yeah. You know, with that block punt and the defense stopping them and missing that field goal, I thought was real big. So that gave us momentum, and uh, uh, you know, I, I thought that was kind of a turning point. Okay. 40 carries for, for Southfield tonight. You were getting the ball a lot, but we were worried he had the ball back in. No, it wasn't. Well, he didn't practice a lot this week, so he needed some, <laughs> some work. He needed some conditioning. <laughs> no, hey, Akeem's a workhorse. He's a guy that helps make us go. When the running game went today, then, you know, Ryan, I thought Ryan Sabo stepped up today as well and made some key uh, completions there. Did a great job checking at the line of scrimmage. Uh, you know, that. You don't see that from the stands, but we know what he's, he's checking off to, and you know. Uh, but Keen did fantastic, and you know the whole offense did. I thought the O line took control of the line of scrimmage second half. I was asking, do you feel like so, to, to this point this year, for this year, quarterbacks are the best one? Oh, most definitely. Yeah, I think he's, and I don't even know what the stats are, but just from uh, standing out there and seeing what was going on, I'd say this was Ryan's best game. Um, how big of a win for this is it in your mind heading into next week's game? Oh, it's big. You have two teams, four and one. Uh, loser, you're really on the outside looking in in the conference. So, you know, this is uh, we needed this to keep keep our momentum going and, and keep uh, you know, our goals. What we what we want to accomplish this this season. You feel the, the turning point? I asked Coach Brown the same same question. You feel the turning point of the game was you're up 21-14. They complete the post on a year one. Ball gets stripped at the last minute. I think Manny, I think we covered that ball. You, you yeah. covered that fumble from the end zone? Okay. Uh, was, was that play the, the, the turning point? Oh, yeah. That was big. I mean, because uh, then I believe we got that drive and went down to school. Yeah. Yep. And, you know, stretched it to a two touchdown game. So that was uh, probably very critical. And, you know, got to give our guys credit for hustle. Hustle to, to, to uh, chase them down in the end zone, strip it. And, and we got guys running the football, and that's why you do, so you can get those turnovers. Could you see a difference in the uh, team? Could you see a difference in that? Well, this is for Ryan, for, for both you guys. You guys see a difference in the O line's play tonight compared to maybe the game at IUT? First, first half, we uh, had a lot of stupid penalties and stuff, but uh, second half, we came back out chugging along, chugging along. We had to get, a, get some foundation first, and then so we just kept going. Yeah. I think it's more of a rhythm. I think in IUP we really couldn't find a rhythm with anything. And then, uh, I think today we just we just wanted it more in our offensive line. I mean, they got in their rhythm. King got in their rhythm. We just we just started going. We started pounding the rock. Brian, when, when, when did your running game work like this? I mean, you're, pound, you're grinding out first down, you're pounding the ball. You're not, not, they're pretty much running at will at least four or five yards at, at a crack. How much does that open up the passing game, and how much easier does it make the game for you? Oh, I mean, it takes a lot off me because they're, I mean, they're expecting the run, and then once we go play action or something, you see the linebackers or the corners, they, they bite up on it, and it, it leaves wide open scenes or wide open passes. So, I mean, it makes my job a lot easier, especially – with the running game going and everybody that we have. You were spreading the ball around like pretty good in the past, but a lot of guys got their hands on the, on the football and the, with, the, with the pass. Did you feel more, more in a, a comfort zone tonight throwing the football than maybe in past games? Yeah, I mean, I, I felt in a pretty good comfort zone today. I mean, things were just going right off the bat. I was focusing on my reads and, I mean, worked all week on studying film and I, I felt like I had them down pretty well, understanding what they were going to do, what the defense would do. So, I mean, if, I felt pretty comfortable out there with everybody.